Hello and a very warm welcome back to Maths Plus. We're continuing on the 2022 Leaving Sort Ordinary Level and we're on to question 5 now. So the first part is indices and we need to convert 1200 into the form of a multiplied by 10 to the power of n. So let's look at the decimal place 1200 zero, zero and it's just after the zero so we're going to move this so that the first number is between one and ten so we're going to get our a value as 1.2 we can see the decimal place has moved three places to the left this means that n is equal to plus three so the scientific notation format is 1.2 multiplied by 10 to the power of 3. Now on to part 2 where we have a decimal. This means we will have a negative in value as we are moving the decimal place to the right. So in this case we just have to move it one place over to the right. So we have 2.1 2.7 multiplied by 10 to the power of and then the one is up here, negative one. So that's part two. Now on to B, and we have a, a lot of working out now with numbers here. So a falcon can dive at a speed of 120 miles per hour, and one mile is approximately 1.6 kilometers. So we're going to need this because we need to find out how long it will take for the falcon to travel 100 meters in seconds so we have two conversions here ultimately we have the 120 miles will be converted to meters first of all and the hour will be converted to seconds then we can use a speed distance and time formula to see how how long it will take to travel 100 meters so let's put it all together with the maths so 120 okay miles per hour is equal to 120 multiplied by 1.6 to go to kilometers and multiply by 1000 to go to meters and then for the hours well it will be one hour is 60 minutes multiplied by 60 seconds so that will be meters per second. So we're going to get a value of 53.3 meters per second. Right, so how long will it take to travel 100 meters? So let's go to the speed distance and time and we have speed is equal to distance over time. So then time is equal to distance over speed. So T is equal to the distance will be 100 and the speed is 53.3. And this will give us a result of 1.875 and we look at the final format of the answer and it will be in one decimal place. So we just round that up to 1.9 seconds. And that's it. Let's go on to part C. So we have a two functions. We have k of x and m of x. They're overlapping okay at a certain point so part one we need to find the values where m of x is equal to zero so let's zoom in on the m of x function and where is the function equal to zero well this will be on the x-axis okay here and here so we can see it very clearly 
that the values will be 1 and 4.5 all right on to part 2 now and find the range of values for which k of x is less than m of x so we need to find out the range of values where the so let's interpret this so we want the x values down here where k of x correspond to where the graph is lower than the graph of m of x so we can look at the graph here and we can look below the, the, the k of x graph and you can see the m of x is above it here for that segment down below here so the two values here will be 2 and 3.5 so we can write it like this oops uh, let's write it out so we go k of x is less than m of x for x is going to be greater than 2 and less than 3.5 and that's it. So big thanks for watching Maths Plus and keep a watch out for my next exciting video.